Eyewitness Sports right now. Good evening. I'm Brendan Miller with Eyewitness Sports. As Dan mentioned to you earlier tonight, it's been raining all day and it was going to keep raining from the start, which means baseball, not a lot going on. The Utica Blue Sox, Boonville Baseball Club, and Oneana Outlaws were all rained out, and Legion games between Adrian and Smith Post and New Hartford and Oriskany Post were pushed back as well. That does give us an opportunity to take a look at the standings, though, and kind of recap how things have gone so far for local teams. In the PGCBL, the Utica Blue Sox at 20 and 6 overall sit in second place in the league, only behind the Amsterdam Mohawks. They are in first place in the West Division, though, with a three game lead over the Batavia Muck Dogs. The rest of the area teams are in the PGCBL East Division. The Oneana Outlaws in 8th place in the league at 13 and 14. The MV Diamond Dogs 11 and 14 and 10th overall. And the Boonville Baseball Club round out the squads in 13th place out of 16 total teams at 8 and 14 overall. And in Legion Baseball, Whitestown Post with the strongest record so far. They've won their last six games. Adrian behind them, a little cold, having lost four of their last five. Ilian and Smith Post, both three games back of first place. And Utica Post, one of the two teams to beat Whitestown this year, but have lost a few unexpected ones. Rounding out the standings in order are Moran, New Hartford, Oriskany, and Charles Miller Posts. All of them sit at 500 or below on the year. And there was one team that got behind the storms and was able to play tonight. The Cheryl Silversmiths traveled to Syracuse to take on the Syracuse Salt Cats and won 11-3, their fifth victory in a row. Noah Rodriguez threw six innings and had four Ks to get the win, and Cowan Plant led the way from the leadoff spot, going 3-for-5 with a double, two runs, and two RBI. He also walked. The win moves the Smitties into a tie for third place in the NYCBL Eastern Division.